Today is Thanksgiving Day in the United States. The fourth Thursday of November is the day set aside every year for the nation to come together and to give thanks for the abundance of blessings that this nation has. Other countries have their own individual days of Thanksgiving, but uh, this one is a very special day for Americans. It has become a, a very special holiday when families come together. At times they may not come together for any other reason, uh, religious or otherwise, it, it is a time for family. It's the time for football, turkeys, pumpkin pies. But most of all, it is a time to give thanks for the blessings that we have whatever they may be and to acknowledge that to God. It's definitely a time we don't want to overlook. Uh, I noticed the other day uh, driving to a store, Thanksgiving was not to be found, but you could already find things for Christmas. And I think it's important to realize we need to be thankful. And so to take this special opportunity to remember the wonderful blessings that God's given to us. It is. It's a time for us to be able to turn to God with just the the bare essence of our life, our family, our health, and wherever, whatever state we may find ourselves in. Um, people may be fearful at this time of year. Uh, the national mood of the United States and maybe other countries right now may be somewhat fearful and uncertain, looking ahead with the uncertain economy. But no matter where you are and how you find yourself at this time, uh, be sure and turn to God. There's a, there's a psalm that I, I always read to myself and have read in the past to my family on Thanksgiving. It's Psalm 95. And I'll just read the first uh, few verses out of this because it is a good Thanksgiving psalm. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to Him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God, and the great King above all gods. In His hand are the deep places of the earth, and the heights of the hills are His also. The sea is His, for He made it, and his hands form the dry land. It's a good, good point to remember. It's a good reminder. There are so many things that we often overlook that we really truly need to be thankful for. So now's the time to step back and be sure that we are grateful for the wonderful things that God has given to us. Have a good Thanksgiving, everyone. That's BT Daily. Join us next time.